What is going on guys? This is Frank, and in this Arma 3 video we'll be doing yet another episode of Optimizing Arma, which is a video series I'm doing on YouTube to show you guys other little ways to optimize your scripts or your mission to make the game run faster, because this game honestly can take every optimization it can get. It needs it. So we'll be focusing on the create vehicle command in this video, or more specifically setting the last element of the create vehicle array into can collide and comparing that to not using can collide and you'll see how much faster setting can collide when creating a vehicle is in comparison to anything else not using it so anyway we'll be doing that now I noticed this when I was creating my furniture script because I, I use create vehicle I use an invisible helipad on the position of houses and then I attach the furniture to the hel helipad or whatever but it was causing stuttering sporting I thought it was the furniture but it actually it was the way I was using create vehicle I was doing it this way. I just had empty brackets or I'd set it to none. So for example, if we do none and do a performance test, the result is 0.240154 ms. It's not horribly slow, but it's also not as fast as I would like. I mean, it is yellow. So I wondered, I figured if you set this to can collide, that means that it can collide with an object when it spawns, which means that it's not checking for collision or any of that shit when the object is created. It's just created and that's it. It doesn't have any additional checks. So I did that, and it was a dramatic performance increase, 0.0067. And in fact, on my phone, I recorded the lowest was 0.0066 ms, was the lowest I got. I don't know why it's 87 now. Maybe it's because I'm recording, actually. But anyway, that's like a, f that, the results I was getting was somewhere between 41 even up to a hundred times faster than using either this or this. It's a hundred using can collide is a hundred times faster than this. Now it's three point three. It, see it? It's weird. Like it keeps going up. I don't get it. But anyway, I think it's because I have to restart the mission. Let's do that. But it was at least forty-one times faster by using can collide, and that's the point of this video. So I would recommend that you use can collide where it's necessary. Don't use it all the time because if you just try to spawn units, for example, it will spawn those units inside of objects sometimes, like buildings, or it'll spawn them inside of other units. So you gotta be careful with it. But I'm spawning something invisible. This is an invisible helipad, basically. So I don't care about physics. I don't care about collision. I want it. In fact, I wanted it to not care about collision. So this is actually perfect. So when I was using the helipad empty using can collide it made it work better and it was way faster now my furniture script has zero stutter and almost no fps impact and i'm getting a phone call hopefully this video was helpful if it was great like it if it wasn't then you could dislike it tell me to go fuck off i don't care anyway do what you want Fuck out.